Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a lobster roll. This recipe makes three full-sized rolls. You can use hot dog rolls or the long rolls in the bread section. I had only mini rolls, so that's why you see I made six mini rolls. You're gonna need a one and a quarter pound main lobster cooked, a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of sour cream, a tablespoon of celery minced, two teaspoons of chives minced, and salt and pepper to taste. So let's talk about the parts of the lobster first. The lobster is part of the crustacean family. The shell is a lobster skeleton and it cannot grow. A lobster must shed its shell in order to grow. That's called molting. Uh, the lobster also has antennas. These four long antennas have thin hairs on them and the lobsters flick their antennas to help them smell. The upper body of the lobster is called the carapace. It is what the claws, knuckles, and tails are attached to. Lobsters have 10 legs. Four of them contain small strips of meat that take some work to remove. They use the eight back legs to walk and then the front legs have claws called pincers. Lobsters will walk along the ocean floor at night in search of food. Lobsters use their claws to catch food and battle predators and other lobsters. The larger of the two claws is called the crusher claw and the smaller claw is called the pincer or cutter claw. The claws of the hard shell lobsters are full of tender, sweet meat. You'll often purchase them with rubber bands around them because the lobsters will use them to pinch you when you take them out of the water or try to cook them. The lobster also has knuckles. The two joints to connect the large claws to the carapace are called the knuckles. If you ask me, that is the best meat in the lobster. And then finally the tail, right? Underneath the tail is something called swimmerettes that help the lobster move. I will show you it when I lift my lobster up for you. And then the tail holds the biggest piece of meat in the lobster. It's probably also the easiest part of the lobster to get the meat out of. When you open your lobster, you may find one of two things. The red stuff is called roe, or tiny lobster eggs of the female lobster. That is edible, but it's okay if you don't wanna have it. Also, there's green stuff, and the green stuff is called tamale. The light green tamale in the carapace of the lobster is the liver and the pancreas. Although lobster lovers adore the rich as butter tamale, it should not be eaten regularly. As with other animals, contaminants may settle in the liver, so it's best to be on the safe side. So here is my one and a quarter pound lobster. You can see the crusher claw and the pincer um, that are there. They're rubber banded for my safety. You wanna make sure that when you buy a lobster, if they're not cooked, they are still alive. So my guy is still alive. As I lift him up, you'll be able to see that there's those little swim swimmerettes underneath there that help him or her to swim in the water. I have my water ready to go. It's boiling, I'm gonna salt it. So this is probably like five cups of water and I probably put about a tablespoon and a half of salt in there. And I'm just gonna put my lobster in there. I'm just gonna get his antennas in there as well. And then I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for nine minutes. After that nine minutes is up, my lobster is cooked. If it's a bigger lobster, I would probably give it a couple or more minutes. You wanna make sure that the first indication that the lobster is cooked is that it is red, the shell is completely red. The next is when you turn the lobster over, you can actually see through the abdomen or the, the tail end of the the lobster, you can see that the meat inside is no longer opaque. I can see that it is white, okay? If you see any of those white specks inside the water, that is actually coagulated blood from the lobster. So you can just leave that behind. I'm gonna take it out of the water. I'm gonna let it cool. If you wanted to shock it in cold ice water, you can, but I'm just gonna let it sit because I'm going to uh, crack it once I'm able to handle it with my hands. So to get the meat out of this lobster, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work. I find that the one and a quarter pound lobsters are usually pretty uh, easy to get the meat out of. A two or three pound lobster may be harder to get the meat out of because the shell is a little bit tougher. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
the tail off. And to do that, you hold the tail and you rock it back and forth and you pull back and the tail should come right off of the body, leaving the meat inside. Next, I'm going to take the claws off. You can see I just pull them off and they come right off of the body, making sure that they're attached with the knuckles. Next, I took off one of the little legs. You can see that there's a little bit of meat inside of these legs that is worth the effort to take out if you do it carefully. Now I have my claw. I'm gonna take the rubber band off. I like to take the smaller of the two pincers, pull it back, rock it back and forth, and that usually will detach it from its shell. Then, I then I'm gonna use this tool here. This is actually called a nut cracker, and you just place the shell between the two and press it down and it'll just help you to easily uh, crack the shell in half. Just make sure that both claws have a little bit of cartilage in the inside them so you want to take that out. Then I'm just going to force out any of the meat from the knuckle either using a fork or pushing it out through with my finger whichever is easier but you want to make sure you get that meat out because it is super tasty. Now, let's make our lobster rolls. The hard part is done, this is the easy part. I have a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of sour cream, a tablespoon of minced celery, and two teaspoons of minced chives. I'm gonna take all of my lobster meat. Now, you could do a lot of different things with this lobster meat. Um, I'm just making a quick salad for it. You can eat it like this with a little bit of drawn butter or clarified butter. You can serve it in a pasta dish. You can serve it with a steak and call it surf and turf, whatever it may be. Lobster, in my opinion, is delicious. So I'm just gonna cut this up into big chunks, okay? Um, you really want to um, be able to taste the lobster meat. You don't want it to get buried inside of these seasonings. So you wanna put it in big chunks. I'm gonna throw the lobster meat into the mayonnaise mixture. I'm gonna stir it up. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Taste it for seasoning, and then I'm gonna to prepare to fill my rolls. I like to use uh, potato rolls for my uh, lobster rolls. I find they are more flavorful and a little bit more dense, and so uh, they hold the lobster meat a little bit better. I'm using party rolls, but if you have a regular hot dog or a long roll, that is perfect. I took my party roll, I just put a slit down the middle of it about three quarters of the way through, and then I stuffed my lobster meat right in it. If you're gonna use a hot dog roll, you can um, just open it like you would for a hot dog and just place the lobster meat inside. You can toast these rolls if you want to, but I would only do that if you were serving them right away. Here's what they look like, all plated. I served it with a side of corn for a great meal. Adding a side of coleslaw would just bring it over the top. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell for notifications for when we post new videos.